Hey guys, Harold here. I'm going to show you some of the headwork that we offer, specifically on VW 8 valve. We've been developing these heads since 2003, so about 23 years of development. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay guys, so this is uh, one of our sample heads. Uh, displays just to show what kind of work we do. Uh, here we got standard, stage 2, basic, stage 2 attention to detail, and stage uh, 3, which is just about always attention to detail. So, yeah, uh, VW 8 valves big in SA. I mean, the last Golf 1s they still made in, I think, 2009. And then we got the, the two import motors, ADY, AGG, and I mean, the racing, especially on 8 valve VW motors, are big in SA. So, yeah, we've developed this head. Uh, we've, we've been doing development on them for quite some time Okay guys, let's start with the valves um, So I don't want to get all technical on the valves because I don't want the video to drag out too long We can get all technical and crazy you know, and the, the performance gains of a back cut and a flow and a swirl and this and that I just want to say what we offer. So we got standard valves. We got back cut and we got the float valves So not much to say about the standard these valves get a 30 degree back cut for a small seating area. Both these are nice for performance gains. Very, very well known for performance gains. And then to take it a step further, we flow. So back cut, flow, swirl. And then the polish on the exhaust. We don't do swirling on the exhaust. We, we polish them up. And uh, yeah, we always try and go aspirated for a thin seating area. We can even go thinner on the seating area. Obviously if it's turbo, we know there's heat dissipation, which is a real thing. We take that into consideration. And you know, what do we want to achieve? Um, normally we don't leave sharp corners here for atomization. Uh, we get our atomization done right in different areas. So uh, yeah, we're all about the flow here because we want performance. And we've tested it front to back. We've done development on it. We're not big into flow benches with airflow numbers. Um, Sometimes it can be misleading, you can have a good airflow number, but the gains in the street are not always the best. There's a lot of variables, you know, overlap, back pressure, stuff like that, you know, scavenging. So you can have a good, you know, number on an airflow bench, but it doesn't mean the car is going to make power. So we like to do development, we test it. Um, anyway, so yeah, you know, we take into consideration, consideration if it's turbo, if it's aspirated, can we go thin? You know, we want to go lacquer thin on the seats. We want to try and get the seating area high up. Uh, we'll get into that now. And uh, yeah, so different options. This obviously is a standard valve on top. Let me put that in there. Standard valve. And then here is a flowed valve, lightened, flowed. Just looks pretty with a high polish. And then. Uh, yeah, this one as well, light and flowed. Okay, and then your combustion chamber, so that's your standard combustion chamber. You can see all these uh, corners here. This is actually not a bad standard combustion chamber. Sometimes they're horrible. Corners over here and over here. So yeah, that's your basic flowed combustion chamber. Just a little bit dirty markings over there. See it's already better, already improved over here. And then that's your attention to detail. Uh, it's a lot higher polish. Uh, so attention to detail, let's just, we're going to get to that now, no, okay, we're going to get to that. Okay, and then we get to the ports, the intake and the exhaust port. So I'm trying to use ambient light over here, I always like to use ambient. And uh, I'm just going to show in the standard ports of the torch. So that's your standard port. Come on, focus, man. Standard port, exhaust, intake, and then we go to your basic port. So that's your basic exhaust port. Intake port, standard, basic. So stage two basics normally value for money. This is what most of the guys go for in the street. Stage two, value for money. Here's a minimum of a 10% gain, just on that one. Um, gee, let me get my calipers out here. Okay, so, standard exhaust port with a caliper. As you can see, it's touching the walls. We go to the one that's been flowed. Okay. So 
has already been opened up volumetric efficiency and then let's try and do this on camera with one hand hey the focus a little bit less there we go okay so touching the side walls over there standard port stage 2 basic So it's already opened up volumetric efficiency as you can see the area around the boss over here where the valve guide goes this area over here it's been improved already see over here how it's been improved for the airflow uh, we've played with the venturi as well we get the venturi nice a bit uh, the short turn radius you can't see it over here but the short turn radius is right on top over here with my pen uh, the short turn radius has been improved over here as well normally from the factory they they don't always horrible sometimes they are but uh, definitely area for improvement so yeah basic value for money like i said minimum 10 percent gains on these and uh, let's go to the attention to detail so when when we say attention to detail we don't just give you a polished port and there you go you know it's not a basic with a polished port and you know now you feel good because you're spending money and it's shiny and you're happy about it that's not what it's about uh, although we like to polish up the ports you know in different setups di diesel the intake port gets polished the exhaust port gets polished almost always you know with the combustions we like that um, you know but i mean in most cases we don't want to polish the intake because of atomization side rafts cars you know we want a rough finish in here you know it all depends what are we doing? Is atomization a problem? Do we need to improve it? Okay, so attention to detail is a lot more attention to the detail to horsepower, not a pretty shiny port. You know, there's attention to the detail, attention to the short turn radius, attention to the valve seat. There's attention in the combustion chamber to how big the piston is, how much can we shroud open. I mean, if we're sitting with a piston that's 84.5, you know, we can go open a little bit more here and get the shrouding done right. Uh, so attention to detail is so much more. It's about what cam size are you running? You know, what's the setup for? Is it a track or exit speed? Is it drag or foot flat? You know, what do we want to achieve with a dynograph? Does a mid-range matter? Doesn't it matter? Do we want, some guys want torque low down, you know, uh, you know, wh what do we want to achieve? That's what attention to detail is. You know, so it's attention to the detail, to the fine horsepower. So it's attention to detail to scratch out as much horsepower as possible for your setup, what you need, what you want, what you want to achieve. Okay, so you can see there the port difference between the basic port and the attention to detail port, especially this area around here. Uh, the port size stays very similar on stage two. The attention to detail is just quiet a bit more here and there. You know, a bit more work on the valve seats and the combustions. You know, a bit more you can see an exhaust port as well around here by the valve guide it's quite a bit more flow there so that's more the extension to detail so this why do you want to do this instead of going the basic is for the guys who want to scratch out scratch out as much power as they possibly can from a stage 2 setup as much as you can okay now we go to stage 3 so the basic stage 2 port size even this one touching the side walls okay here's the stage 3 port even upgraded even more bigger than the stage 2 and now comparing this to the stage 1 let's just do that for fun of it uh, sorry guys I'm trying this one-handed okay so that's touching the side walls that's your standard port and here's your stage 3 port So that's stage three. So the ports opened up quite a bit more. Even the exhaust ports opened up a little bit comparing to that one. We don't like going too big on the exhaust. Um, you're gonna mess up the scavenging. So yeah, this is for race cars, stage three car, throttle cars, uh, you know, methanol drag cars and so on and so on. So yeah, we like the bullet shaped guides. Uh, it helps a little bit. And yeah, but I mean, we don't only offer you have to go either this or that or that or that. You know, you can go stage three with a back cut on your valve. You can go stage two with a float valve. You know, 
you can tell me you don't want a radius seat, you want a three angle seat, we can do three angle seat for you, it's not a problem at all. Um, I'm just going to recommend, we've done development, we've seen this works the best. Um, you know, we haven't got any gains on top of this type of setup, not on 8 valve. So, yeah guys, thanks for watching.